Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin disease diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We are your go-to source. We want to be your go-to source for all things health, nutrition, nutritional supplementation. If you have questions about the longevity products, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, or if you just want to comment with uh, on anything we're talking about here today, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early. The board fill up pretty quickly and uh, it's first come first serve on the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side you can purchase products by calling the bright side ben phone team at 866-735-2470 you can also head over to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and purchase products off the websites as well as joining the bright side ben team for a one-time 25 dollar fee you can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money while you're doing it. Make a little bit of money, make a lot of money. You can make your own hours, with no boss. You can enjoy all the tax benefits of having your own business. Not for everybody. Not everybody wants to have their own business. Not everybody is entrepreneurially minded. Some folks just want a paycheck and that's great. More power to them. But if you are not satisfied with punching a clock and having a paycheck and depending on a boss to, to uh, uh, support you, entrepreneurialship is for you and longevity makes it really really easy for a one-time $25 fee you can start a business I can help you grow your business a lot of folks are doing pretty darn well helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program with the longevity products and longevity business and longevity philosophy of good health through nutritional supplementation you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com or you can call the phone team at 866-735 2470. Okay, so we're talking connective tissue in the skin. I know we've been talking about it for a long time, but man, is this stuff important. It is the key to understanding the health of the body or the lack thereof. The skin, of course, is dependent on the connective tissue like any other part of the body. We all want healthy, beautiful skin. Ever wonder why we all want healthy, beautiful skin? What is it, what is it about the skin? Yeah, it's an organ of the body, but so is the liver, so is the lungs. Nobody really focuses on the lungs or the liver or the heart or the spleen or the bladder or any other part of the body, the way we focus on the skin. We all want beautiful skin. What is it about the skin? Well, the skin is, the skin is a, an announcement to the world about the health of our bodies. Everybody sees our skin, and there's an intuitive understanding that we may not recognize. We may not recognize this uh, consciously, but there's a subconscious, intuitive understanding that the skin is telling us something about what's happening on the body. We're making judgments on each other. We're assessing each other by our health, and the first proclamation of how healthy or unhealthy we are is our skin. The skin is a 
primary determinant, at least initially, it's a primary determinant of a wide range of social behaviors, from how we pick our mate or sexual partner to decisions we make about our platonic relationships to hiring decisions that we make to decisions about who we're going to talk to on the bus or, or who we're going to hang out with at a party. This represents our intuitive understanding of the link between our external physical appearance and our internal biochemical status. We tend to gravitate towards people who are healthy and away from those that we perceive as unhealthy. And the first indicator, the most obvious indicator, is our skin. This is why we all want beautiful skin. It's an announcement to the world about how healthy, about how young, about how vital about how, uh, how uh, able we are to navigate the ups and downs of life. Now, when we look at each other's skin, we're not, we're not making these decisions consciously, but unconsciously we're saying, this person is somebody I want to hang out with because they're healthy. They're going to make it in the world. Or even more fundamentally, this is somebody that I want to mate with. It's about DNA, really. But because no one tells us how our insides work, we come up with all these kinds of strategies to simply paint over on the outside to fool the world. And even worse, even more insidious, even more sneaky, we have created this industry called the beauty business that makes billions of dollars convincing us to buy their special paint that will paint over our outsides to disguise to the world what's happening on the insides. That's what the beauty business is about. It's about making special paint. Oh, we make a special paint just for your turkey neck. Oh, we make a special paint just for your eyes. Oh, our paint is all natural. Buy our paint. No, buy our paint. It's the one movie stars use. No, no, no. Buy our paint because our paint comes from a special melon that grows off an island off the coast of France. This is what the beauty business is about. It's about selling us paint so we can paint over the outsides to disguise to the world what's happening on our insides. Well, doesn't it make more sense to, to figure out what's happening on the inside so the outside reflects what's happening on the inside? But the problem is nobody knows or nobody tells us what's going on in the insides, how the inside is connected to the outside. Everyone, tell, everyone knows that the skin is an organ of the body. Would we disguise the condition of any other organ of the body to fool other people into thinking that our heart was healthy? Would you pay your cardiologist to sell you a special paint to fool people into thinking that your heart is healthy or your liver or your lungs or bladder or any other part of your body? If the skin is not healthy, we are not healthy. If the skin is not looking good, we, our bodies, are not in the proper condition. The skin is a reflection of what's happening in the body. The skin is a reflection on the outside of what's happening on the inside. Well, the thing about the skin is because it's on the outside, it gives us this golden opportunity to peer into the inner sanctum of the body because it's on the outside. It's by virtue of its external nature, it gives us this special gift that no other part of the body can give us. It's the inside on the outside. It's our inside workings on the outside. It's like a window to the inside, and it's an ideal, perfect diagnostic tool that reveals the in inner workings of the body. If we listen, if we understand, if we speak skin, the skin is communicating to us in its own language, the language of blemishes, the language of rashes, the language of, uh, of pityriasis rosacea, the, uh, the language of vascular, vascular changes, of redness. The skin is not a, a canvas for adornment. It's a portal to our insides, and the information it is giving us can save our life. This is not a hyperbole. This is not an exaggeration. The information we're getting from our skin can save us, not only, not only save our lives, save us from a stroke, save us from being in a wheelchair, save us from health misery. And this is the gift of the skin, and we don't leverage it. We don't take advantage of it. We just cover over. We just cover it over. It's not our fault. Nobody's telling us these things. This is the only program you're going to hear where we're ta we talk about the intimate link between the inside and the outside. The skin, as we've said so many times before, is an organ of the body. It's an electrical generator. It is a, a, no less an electrical generator than your brain or your heart or your bones or any other system of the body. It's piezoelectric. It's pyroelectric. That means it generates electricity with pressure. It generates electricity with heat. It's ferroelectric. That means it generates electricity spontaneously. And it, guess what it is? Guess what part of it, what part of the skin uh, is mostly responsible for the electrical energy? That's right, the connective tissue. All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on the 
Whiteside Farm Spen here, 844236 6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment, as we always do on the bright side. Hang tight. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and purchase products right off the website. And, of course, so you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. And I can help you build your business if you so desire. I'm, I'm going to be in Austin, Texas. Uh, do, do, do. That's the 26th of January at 6.30 p.m., and I don't have the address, unfortunately. I'll get you that here, uh, hopefully later on in the program. If you're in Austin, Texas, love to see you out there. I love Austin, haven't been there in a while. I know we have a lot of, a lot of bright side listeners in Austin. Austin is, uh, is the Texas version of Boulder, Colorado, I think. A little more twangy. A little more twangy than Boulder, but it's a lot, a lot like Boulder. It's a university town. Very smart folks live in Austin, and I love coming to Texas in general, and Austin especially, and I'll be there January 26th, next Thursday, 6.30 p.m., and I will get to the address here uh, after our next break. I'll look up the address, and I'll get it to you in our next segment. Okay, so the skin is an organ of the body. Everybody knows it's an organ of the body, but unfortunately, we don't treat it as an organ of the body. We treat it as an organ for adornment or as a, a canvas for adornment, but it's not a canvas for an adornment. It is a fully fledged organ of the body, and if you have a skin disease, you have an organ disease. You have a disease of the body. The thing about the skin is, is because it's on the outside, it can tell us what's happening on the inside, and that's the great gift of the skin. It is a portal to the inside of the body. It tells us what's happening on the inside of the body. If you have acne, if you have eczema, if you have dermatitis of any kind, rosacea, psoriasis, whatever, you've got an internal condition. The skin is a fully fledged organ of the body. It's electrical, as we were saying before the break. The electrical energy is generated from the connective tissue, although I have to say the epidermis, the surface of the skin, also generates an electrical charge. But the vast majority of the electrical energy for, of, of the skin comes from the connective tissue, thus the importance of building skin connective tissue. The dermis, the connective tissue of the skin is 90% of the tissue. It's electrical, it's photonic, it conducts light energy. Yes, the dermis is emitting light. It's biophotonic. And this is why it's so important to drive the production of connective tissue in the skin. Not so much to prevent wrinkles so that everybody can think we're young and beautiful, but because the more connective tissue you have, the healthier the connective tissue in the skin, the better the, electri the conduction of electrical energy. Thinning skin, wrinkle-prone skin, fine lines, crow's feet, these are not only beauty issues, these are health issues. These are health issues because the electrical energy is conducted through the wires of the connective tissue. If you got wrinkles, you got less wires. If you got fine lines, crow's feet, the signs of aging, thinning skin, these are issues with the wiring. The wiring is breaking down. So driving collagen production with retinol, driving collagen production with vitamin C topically, driving collagen production with bone soup and bone broth and internal vitamin C and internal vitamin A and keeping your sugar down. It's not smoking cigarettes. Driving the production of collagen is about improving the wiring. And this is true, of course, about the inside of the body, but we tend to not think about it when we consider the skin. Driving the production of collagen with topical retinol, with topical vitamin C, is not just a beauty issue. It's a health issue. It makes our hormones work more efficiently. It makes our moisture factors work more efficiently. It makes our skin cells work more efficiently. Driving the production of connective tissue underneath improves the, connection, the condition of every function in the skin. And this is why working at the dermis level this is why working underneath to drive the production of connective tissue is the single most, perhaps the only critical health and beauty strategy you should ever use when it comes to having beautiful skin. If you're just smearing a moisturizer on your skin, not only are you not doing anything for the connective tissue, but you're actually suppressing the activity of the connective tissue. The average moisturizer, so-called moisturizer, I hate that word, moisturizer, it's such a silly, meaningless word. If you're a healthcare professional and a skincare professional and you use that nonsense word, moisturizer, you are not serving your patients. Now, we can be forgiven as lay people or lay people can be forgiven for using the term moisturizer because it's, it's in the lexicon, it's a meme, it's a belief, 
But healthcare professionals should never say moisturizer. It's a silly, nonsense, marketing, advertising, jargon word that has no meaning. Moisture is water. How is a, a concoction of oil and wax and preservative and perfume going to add water to your skin? It's nonsense when you think about it. In any case, if you're smearing something on the surface of your skin, not only are you not doing anything for the condition of the skin, but you're actually suppressing the activity of the skin. The skin has to be dynamic. It doesn't want coating on the surface of it. Would you ever coat the surface of your heart or your liver? So it's not just wrinkles, by the way, and it's not just thinning skin that uh, are the result of defects in the connective tissue. Yesterday, we talked about eczema. You look at the skin, at eczem eczematic skin, and it's kind of, it looks, if you've ever seen it, you can, t you can kind of see underneath. The surface is not forming correctly, and you can see underneath, and you think you have a skin problem. But it's not a skin problem. It's a connective tissue problem. Dry skin is a connective tissue problem. Sensitive skin is a connective tissue problem. I can't tell you how many people I talk to that say they have sensitive skin and think it's a skin problem and think it's on the surface. Oh, I can't use that product because I have sensitive skin. Sensitive skin is about the connective tissue. Sensitive skin is an internal problem. It's not a topical problem. Cystic acne, likewise. Rosacea, likewise. This is why if you have sensitive skin, you want to be using bone broth. If you have sensitive skin, you want to be using bone broth protein. If you have sensitive skin, you want to be using glucosamine. Whoever told you that? That if you have sensitive skin, you need more glucosamine, and you need more vitamin C, and you need to be working on why the connective tissue is toxic. And this is very important too, by the way. The connective tissue is the great dumping ground of blood toxicity. I know I've said it before in this program, but repetition is reinforcement, and nobody else is telling you this. The connective tissue is the great dumping ground of blood toxicity. And blood toxicity comes from the gut. That's, this is the connection. If you've ever wondered why it is that the digestive system is so intimately linked to the skin, there it is for you. When the, uh, when the digestive system breaks down, toxicity gets into the blood. When toxicity gets into the blood, it is only a matter of time before that toxicity will get dumped out into your connective tissue everywhere. The connective tissue in your joints, the connective tissue between your organs, and the connective tissue in the skin. So if you have sensitive skin, work on the gut. If you have sensitive skin, build your connective tissue. Vitamin C is important, bone broth, bone broth protein, glucosamine, so are essential fatty acids, by the way. This is another very important point. EFAs and fatty vitamins, for that matter, vitamin A and vitamin D, are very important for the connective tissue. Make sure you're using your ultimate enzymes. Make sure you're, you're, you're uh, breaking down food appropriately. Cigarette smoke is a disaster for the connective tissue, and you can actually see the damage that cigarette smoke does to the connective tissue when you look at somebody who's been smoking for many years. You can always tell when somebody's been smoking for a, a long time, even if they don't want to tell you about it, like Obama, President Obama. You know he's a smoker, a cigarette smoker? He says he uses Nicoderm, but if you look at his face, you can actually see cigarette smoke face. Jennifer Aniston, also. Did you know she's a cigarette smoker? If you look at her face really closely, you can actually see. No matter how much of vino she uses, she can't disguise the fact that she's got connective tissue breakdown from cigarette smoke. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back with more good health information and your phone calls on the Bright Side right after this. Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, benfuchsarchives.com as well. Thank you, Peter, in the UK for setting that up. That's a great website. Peter has compiled uh, all my various websites. I was talking to a marketing gal yesterday, and she's like, Ben, your, your branding is a mess. You've got all of these different websites, and that is true. I do have lots of websites, and the kind of... It kind of grew organically as the internet grew. I had no idea that was going to happen. Uh, if you've tried to find some information, pharmacist Ben information, you know, it's all over the place. But Peter in the UK has compiled it all together, and I encourage you to check out BenFuchsArchives.com. It's a great website, and it's got all my stuff, all uh, six or I think six different websites on there, BenFuchsArchives.com. Thank you, Peter, for doing that. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. 
844-236-6010. Oh, yeah, you could purchase our Truth Skin Health products. I forgot to talk about that. They're uh, retinol 5% gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all designed to drive the production of connective tissue. These are not surface products. These are treatments that are specifically designed to get underneath to the dermis to drive the production of connective tissue. Yes, your skin will look better, and it will look better pretty darn quickly. If you're dealing with thinning skin or fine lines or wrinkles or hyperpigmentation, dark spots or acne, you will notice dramatic differences quickly. But the real benefit is the driving of the connective tissue. That means more electricity to the skin. That means more nourishment to the skin because it is the connective tissue that nourishes and feeds the cells. And that means more detox and more oxygen as well. Retinol and topical vitamin C, those are the two most important, maybe the two only ingredients anybody ever needs to put on their skin, whether the skin is under their eyes or the decollete or the face or the butt or the big toe or anywhere. If you've got skin, the only thing that skin needs is vitamin C and vitamin A, period. And maybe something to help facilitate the movement of that vitamin C and vitamin A into the dermis. That's um, transdermal penetrance. And this is one of the things that we study in pharmacy school, by the way, is how to drive ingredients into the dermis or into the body through the surface of the skin. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number from the journal Nature Immunology, published yesterday. Every meal triggers inflammation. This is so important. When we eat, we don't just take in nutrition. We get inflammatory factors. Eating spinach will trigger inflammation. Eating salad will trigger inflammation. You could eat as good as you want, and you're still going to get a postprandial, that means post-eating, inflammatory response. It especially happens with nasty food, like fried fats, for example, and sugar, but it happens all the time. Eating represents an invasion. Yes, we have to eat, I know that. But the body is a closed system for the most part, except through the mouth and maybe through the nose. But primarily, the body's a closed system except for what gets in through the mouth. So there's an entire defensive response that's mounted every time we eat. And if you already, if your inflammatory or defensive system is already on edge because you have arthritis or because you're doing drugs or because you're not eating correctly or because you're nutritionally deficient, eating anything can put you over the edge. Eating anything can exacerbate chronic pain. Eating anything can exacerbate autoimmune diseases. Eating anything can make your multiple sclerosis or your whatever your inflammatory health condition is worse. And I'm not saying don't eat. I'm saying be careful what you eat and eat less. We don't need anywhere near the amount of food that we ingest. Because human beings are the only animals that eat because they're depressed. Human beings are the only animals that eat because they're bored. Human, anim uh, human animals or human beings are the only animals that eat for reasons other than being hungry. There, there may be some domesticated animals that eat when they're depressed. I don't even know. Uh, I, I can't even say that. Clearly, wild animals don't do it. Speaking of eating less, from the journal Nature Communications, this was published yesterday, calorie restriction lets monkeys live long and prosper. Calorie restriction is the key element to living longer and prospering. Eating less. I always hear people say, oh, I can't afford the supplements. I can't afford nutritional supplements. How much money does it cost to eat less food? It doesn't cost money. You make money. Calor if you can't afford your supplementation and you want to try a health strategy that doesn't cost anything, calorie restriction. Ideally, calorie restriction with, with optimum nutrition, the so-called cron diet, but simply fasting, simply not eating, simply eating less calories can go a long way towards improving your health as well as your longevity. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Candy in Wisconsin. Good morning, Candy. Hi there, Ben. This is your walking testimony to the bright side and your knowledge. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Candy. What's going yes. on? How can we help you? Well, you know, I've overcome the Crohn's disease. Nice. And, uh, on your own? And I'm, on your own? Well, no, with your help. <laughs> well, I mean, but you um, didn't use drugs or surgery or doctors to do it. Correct. Right. Correct. Correct. I ignored all that and walked out. So, um, but this today is not about me because I've taken all your knowledge and I have been helping others since last year. Uh, my anniversary for the Bright Side and Ketogenic Diet will be February 12th, one year. Nice. Um, Congratulations. But, so here's my question. I've got two people who've had gastric bypass surgery within the last 10 years. Okay. And they had lost the weight after the surgery. It slowly came down. 
and now they're back up to the weight they used to be and then some. Wow, so, that's, that's um, terrible. And they're all surgically manipulated and stapled. What do they have exactly? Correct. Do you know, do you know um, what they I'm did? Not sh- I'm not sure exactly right. which one. I think one had to do with um, reverting to the small intestine. Not they, quite like sure, rerouted but, things? They rerouted? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so with the ketogenic diet, um, I'm questioning, do they even have enough bile that's being uh, processed you know, in the stomach? Once you, I, don't, I don't know. It's very likely they don't. I, I have no idea. And the gas, their digestive juices are all thrown off. You know, there's different, ki- there's different types of gastric bypass surgery. So I'm not, sure, uh, I'm not sure exactly what they had done. But generally speaking, a gastric bypass procedure is when your stomach is divided. They actually surgically divide the stomach into, a, into an upper pouch and a, and a, a, a lower pouch. And then, and then they reroute the intestine so that it's connected to both pouches. I mean, it's, it's absurd really when you think about it right. uh, but nonetheless it's been done and what's done is done liquid nutrition as much liquid nutrition as they can get uh, their ability so, oh. to process uh, nutrients out of foods is going to be highly impaired uh, so they may lose weight but they're going to be very sick uh, they're not going to be able to get the nutrients they need but beyond will, tangy will tangerine the, bone soup i'm sorry go ahead will the uh, ketogenic diet be beneficial for them it may be a little harsh they'll have to try i don't know how well they're going to process fats as you know the ketogenic diet is a high fat low calorie diet the low calorie is going to be very important that's the most important thing for somebody who's had gastric bypass cron diet c-r-o-n calorie restriction uh, uh, optimum nutrition and the best way to do that is with liquids smoothies vegetable juices uh, beyond tangy tangerine bone broth aloe vera vegetable soups liquids liquid nutrition okay. the uh, nutrition that's mostly water uh, that has the nutrients pre-processed pre-digested that's the best way to go but they got to be really careful and the less they eat the better off they're going to be as long as they're getting their nutrition the, the, this is a body that has been through the through the ringer it's yeah, been through the war both of, them say they're con- both of them say they're constantly hungry like nothing satisfies them okay, yeah of course not because they're malnourished they're functionally starving to death it's an absurd procedure, absolutely absurd procedure, in my humble opinion. Thanks, ben. Okay, Candy, take care. Have a beautiful day. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Hang tight. We'll finish up. Uh, we'll get all your phone calls when we come back. I might have to go fast, but we will get to all your phone calls uh, when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. back on the bright side i'm trying to find here okay uh austin texas i'm going to be in austin texas thursday january 26th that's a week from tomorrow 6 30 p.m registration 7 p.m to 9 p.m is my talk and i'll be talking about the simplicity and ease of being healthy of staying healthy of getting healthy And it is simple, folks. It is not complicated, no matter what you hear from your doctor, no matter what you hear from the medical model. It is not complicated to be healthy. Let me, I'm going to show you how easy it is. uh, When I do my presentations, I get to go a little bit more in depth than we do on this radio program. It's two hours and it's, it's not, it's not boring. Trust me, it is not a boring uh, talk. It's very relevant, it's very important, and it's, it's super easy to understand how to get healthy. This is going to be uh, in Austin, Texas, 2701 West William Cannon, and it's uh, the Westgate Bowling Lanes. I'm not sure what that's about. I guess there's a meeting room there. Uh, call 512-441-2695. 541 2695 to register next Thursday. January 26th, 26th, 7 to 9. Okay, I want to get to all our phone calls here today because I promised I would do that. So I'm just going to go real fast. George in California, welcome to the bright side. Georgie. George, George. Oh, yes, uh, I wanted to know, Ben, uh, what would be the uh, type of magnesium that you get in the emergency room that they do IVs that comes in a bag. I want to simulate that. That's so magnesium I go to a chloride. Store and get the exact same thing. Well, you don't want to do that because you see they're putting an IV, and when you t- go to the health food store, you have to uh, your body has to process it and digest it. Uh, so what they do IV is an, is a form of uh, magnesium that, that goes into solution, magnesium chloride. That's not the best form of magnesium in my opinion. Uh, although you can use it, uh, you can get it pretty readily. It's found you know most health food stores will have. Mag- 
mag chloride. Um, I like magnesium glycinate personally, colloidal magnesium, or food magnesium. Those are my favorites. Um, I would stay away from magnesium oxide. Uh, that tends to, unless it's in a supplement, sometimes supplements will have magnesium oxide in them. Uh, but mag chloride is typically the one they, they'll use IV. Or do they have just plain uh, magnesium no. in a health food store? You'll never or? see a plain mineral anywhere. Plain minerals don't exist. They're always key, they're always attached either ionically or, or which, well, I don't want to get into too much chemistry. They're usually attached to something else. So you'll never see straight magnesium or straight zinc or straight selenium. It's always attached to something. Uh, mag chloride is what they use IV to answer your question. It's a magnesium yeah. so, salt. So the one that you recommend that would give a person Gly- a real good... Uh, glycinate or colloidal. Glycinate. Yeah, glycinate, uh, G-L-Y-C-I-N-A-T-E, and that also gives you glycine, which is an extremely important amino acid for the connective tissue, maybe the most important. Actually, you know, glycine is phenomenally important for a lot of things. I haven't talked too much about that. Um, uh, I I like the glycinate salt. All right, Georgie? You can get that in the health food store. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, or on the Internet. Say, say uh, Ben, uh, uh, Cass Ingram says that vitamin C has coal tar in it. Do you... I, I, that's, I don't know. If, you know, I, I, re, I read Cass Ingram, but I don't know. I've never heard him say that uh, or her say that. I think it's a her. It's a she, right? It's, it's Cass a man. Ingram. Oh, it's a man. Uh, he's an osteopath. Yeah, I've read his book. I've read a couple of his books. Um, I don't know. I've never heard him say that. But how could vitamin C have coal tar in it? That doesn't even make sense. Well, they use it as a filler or something. No. Vitamin C is water-soluble. Coal tar is tar. It's as non-water-soluble yeah. as you get. That, I don't think – I can't imagine him saying but that. But you recommend the fat-soluble vitamin C. Uh, fat-soluble vitamin C is definitely best for the skin. It's not necessary for, to use it internally, uh, fat-soluble vitamin C. But for the skin, oh. it is absolutely the best. By what, far. do you rub it on the skin then? Absolutely. Go to truthtreatments.com. It's the only kind of vitamin C I ever put in my products. Fat until I uh, get yours uh, in the mail uh, for a few days until it comes, what could I get I, locally that you would can't. start it? Fat soluble vitamin C is very tricky. Uh, you mean internally to take as a pill? Well, uh, to rub on the skin or No, something. you can't rub straight vitamin, uh, fat soluble vitamin C in the skin that you get from a health food store. Uh, but you can find it in some products. I use a whole bunch of it. Uh, my Truth Serum, for example, has almost 80% fat soluble vitamin C. And you're not going to see that anywhere. All right, I got to motivate, my friend. Good to talk to you, George. Okay, thanks, uh, Take Ben. Care. Take care, brother. All right, let's go to Rob in Lake Tahoe. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Ben. A uh, question I had a blood panel done, and I was only low on vitamin B and D, so I was, she gave me supplements, but she also said my testosterone was, was low. low, and she wanted to talk about um, testosterone replacement. Or, yeah. yeah, and so I didn't know what the pros Sugar. and cons. I'm the 45 big, years old. You're too young. You're too young. You must be carrying a little body fat, extra body fat. That's the biggest problem when men get older. I'm, a, I'm about 14%. Okay. Well, that's not too bad, actually. No, um, I mean, I, you... I can see a four-pack with a little bit of a fat. Okay, that's not too bad at all. But, you know, you can have fat that you can't see. You know, you could be accumulating fat underneath. So you may not mm-hmm. – but usually when you're – as men get older, they start to accumulate body fat. That's when you end up with problems with testosterone. There's an antagonistic relationship between sugar or too much sugar and, and testosterone. So the first that's thing you want to do – I yeah, eat way too much sugar. you got to drop the sugar, up the protein. But don't just up the protein. Up the protein and plus work. If you just up the protein, the body can convert protein into sugar. You want that protein being converted converted into muscle, not sugar. And the way you do that is by lifting weights and doing some resistance training with your protein. That's the best thing you could do for testosterone is weightlifting and resistance training plus protein. You can also use nutrients that help facilitate the movement of of protein into muscle and also facilitate the production of testosterone. Zinc and vitamin A are prime key players in anabolic chemistry, that is building chemistry. Uh, So vitamin A, and of course you need to make sure you're processing these things from a digestive system perspective. Vitamin A, zinc, uh, also anything you could do to help the body process sugar, the B vitamins, chromium, um, also also selenium and vanadium, and the B vitamin niacin, and let's see what else here I could think of. So a good Uh, multivitamin will take care of that. 
What's that? No, a good multivitamin will not. It'll give you the minimum wage. Also, arginine is very important for this whole anabolic chemistry thing to help your body process sugar and build testosterone. Make sure you're using a gram or two of arginine every day. It tastes like crap, though, so make sure uh, you know, you're mixing it up with, in a smoothie or something like that because arginine is awful tasty. protein shakes have all that. Yeah, but a good, pro- a good uh, meal replacement, anabolic meal replacement shake will do it. Whey protein is the best if you're going pro- uh, to up your protein. And eggs, too. All right, I got to move, Rob. Well, thank you thank so much, you. brother. No. Good to talk to you. I uh, hope, well, hope I didn't cut you off there, Rob. Uh, let's go to Celestina. Love that name. Celestina in Florida. Good morning, Celestina. Hi, good morning. I'm Hi. calling on behalf of my son. I have a 10-year-old son, and yes. he's been diagnosed with gastroparesis. Oh, okay. He has a lot of food allergies. He's, he's 10 years old? Hold on, hold on, ma'am. He's 10 yeah. years old? Yeah, he's 10. He's, he's had problems since... Maybe I would say age eight, and he no, had since so he was born. Many. No, since he was born. If he's ten years old, he's had pro, and he's got this kind of issue. He's had it his whole life. This yeah. there's good news and bad news, Celestina. Okay, bad news is this is a very big problem for a child I to know. have this he's, condition. He's missing so much school. He's suffering all the time. No, he's running higher risks for the most horrible diseases known to man. This is very he's bad. Got, he's but, had. We've had his appendix removed because we had a hey. tear. They said oh that my he God. had a oh stone my God. in his appendix. It's okay, been, stop. Don't depress me. <laughs> I don't want to be depressed. Here. I am depressed. <laughs> I know. I can see why. But here's the good news. That was the bad news. But there's good news here. When a condition, when a kid is this deteriorated, when the condition is that severe at this young age, that means all you got to do is a couple of things, and you can change things or turn things around real quickly. You got to figure out what foods he's having issues with. He's pro- he's got to have, have this. Figured out, I have figured out some of them. I think. Well, no, you have absolutely. Absolutely must them. get him. Mm-hmm. Th- you have no room for error here. You don't have okay. a big window, so you okay. got to have. You have, a, and I've got to go fast here. And I apologize sure. for this. That's you've okay. you've got to uh, keep very close track of the connection between foods and gastroparesis. For the listeners, gastroparesis is when your stomach doesn't empty and you have a constant state of fullness. It's a miserable condition. Uh, so, I've but, been told he's got a hernia. He's got a hernia. That well, all of that, stomach. but that's all secondary. The primary okay. problem is food. The primary mm-hmm. problem is specific foods. Gluten, dairy, legumes, beans, eggs. I don't know what it is, but it's probably somewhere in that spectrum. you got to figure out what foods he's having problems with. Give him as much liquid nutrition as possible. This is a kid who's going to be functionally starving, like our last uh, couple callers ago. This is a kid who's going to be malnourished. He's going to be depriving himself of growth nutrients that are going to affect his brain, his bones, his connective tissue. That's what the hernia is from. So you got to give him liquid nutrition. Get him on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine today. Call 866-735. 2470. Get him on the BTT. Get him on uh, have him drinking lots of chicken soup. You know what? I'm out of time, but I want to help you. So, Celestina, please Can send I email an email. You? Yes, I ben, desperately need help. Please email Ben at KSCO.com and put your phone number, and we'll help you out personally. Thank you. I really and appreciate I, your help. Thank Thanks. you. God bless you. And I, I apologize. Let me get Max here. Hey, Max, I'm so sorry. I tried to get everybody, I just couldn't do it. Uh, Max, are you there, buddy? Yes, yes. Ma- Max, I wish you. Why don't you send me an email and I'll help you out personally. And I, and I'm sorry okay, to. Okay. You, you know, you know what I'm gonna ask. But yeah, yeah. I've been, I know. I, 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 come, I come see you in Austin too. I live in Austin. I That'd be great. I'll, I'll help you out personally. Thank you, okay, Max. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, we're out of time, folks. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We will talk to y'all later. Bye for now.